I was an obsessive Howard Stern fan when I grew up. I would run home from school, listen to him when he was on the afternoons. And, and Howard has a very specific personality that's like both loving and aggressive and he kind of picks on you, but then he also is like super loyal and, and, and really generous. And there was something so familiar about Todd the first time I met him. And, and I think some of that familiarity was Howard. Like there was a, something about Howard Stern that reminded, like Todd that reminded me of Howard Stern. And I remember we had to go somewhere to like carry the meeting on and he's like, jump in my car. And right when he turned on the, the car, Howard Stern came on. I was like, yeah, I'm telling you, it's like that. I feel like I know you already through Howard. I think the big draw was how can we take the comic book genre and some of the fact of the IP and the ability for those movies to get made and hide this character art piece in the middle of it and make some of those films that we admire so much. Like make a singular character study like There Will Be Blood, but what if it wasn't about an oil man but it was about the Joker? So we can suddenly now you know, start to go in the direction and make, make a piece that doesn't have to hide its artistic intentions, but can, can kind of lean into them. You know, one of the things I appreciate about comic book movies, but also about graphic novels that deal in the comic book genre, is that they, are, they embrace aggressive, engaging imagery because they have to on the page. And they're trying to create images that singularly feel beautiful. Right? They don't have motion, they don't have these things, but they have to create these striking images. So in spite of the fact that it's meant to be real and authentic, we really, I certainly made a real point to try to create these very striking compositions with, with a lot of color. I mean, with Joaquin, every take is different in the best way. It wasn't about continuity because often we were pretty sparse with our coverage. We never had to have him do the same thing twice necessarily. So it's a little bit of embarrassment of riches with him, where he's discovering things every take. He's not the kind of performer that you do that many and you don't need that many. And I was operating one of the cameras as well. And to me, it was one of the most thrilling parts of the movie was to actually discover things in real time with him and not know where it was going to go. And you know, sometimes it was just, it wasn't like, you know, he was running around the room and doing circles. Sometimes it was just like a slow dance of watching him, feeling the performance and then in real time making a decision to move in slowly or come around to the back of him and me and my other operator, the A operator, Jeff Haley, would literally just watch each other. So if he moved, I would move and we would dance around him and Joaquin was in the middle and man, it was, it was super fun because it was like performing like he was performing. And we were all sort of doing it together in this kind of cool improvisational jazz thing, you know. I love making movies so much and uh, I love being a cameraman and, and it's, uh, it's really the greatest job in the world. Every day is different. I always say uh, movies are this amazing, complex machine in which you have all these disparate people with all these unique special skills and they're brought together in a corporation that's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, formed overnight, and they all have to come together with one common goal and use all these special skills to create something over maybe a four or five or six month period. And then they all go back to their separate ways and do it again on another job. And it's wonderful. And, and, and every job is different. Every day is different. Every circumstance has problems to solve. And every day is an opportunity to make an image that is, is engaging and emotional and, and hopefully can stand on through, the t through time and be something that people remember.